Welcome students to Banik Smart Class. I am Ravi Sir. Today I shall take an important chapter on geography. This is the some tricks for to know the tributaries of Ganga River, which are frequently asked in every type of exam covering SSC, uh, RI, uh, then OS, IS. In each type of exam, some one to two questions are we are getting from the Ganga River system. So I. Um, bring with this important trick for you, students. This is the drainage basin of Ganga River in map of India. Okay. This covering uh, Uttarakhand state, uh, some part of also um, completely UP, some part of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, and some part part of also Chhattisgarh. Okay, so this drain drainage this is the largest drain, drainage basin in the India. So, uh, let's before talking about that important tributaries, let's know some important facts about the Ganga River. Okay, the Ganga it is the largest river of India, flows for a length of 2,525 kilometers, covering states like Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and West Bengal. Uh, the smallest part covers flows through Uttarakhand, 110 kilometers, and the largest part covering throw in Uttar Pradesh, which is uh, 1450 kilometers students. Okay. Then the river Ganga has been originated from the Gangotri Glacier right? from an important place known as Gomuk Cave. Right? Gomuk Cave from this region it originated. Okay. Gomuk Cave. Then the Ganga flows through India and Bangladesh. This is an international river. You should know. It is not only flows in India, it also flows through Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, the Ganga River is known as Padma River. Okay. So, important cities, these are also asked in question, which are the important cities situated on the bank of river Ganga? These cities are Rishikesh, Haridwar, Bhagalpur, Allahabad, Patna, Kanpur, and Birjapur. And these cities, important cities are located on the river of river Ganga. Okay. Then, when Ganga reaches the West Bengal, when Ganga reaches the West Bengal, it bifurcated, that is divided into two distributaries, namely Bhagirathi and Hugli. Then what now? Bhagirathi enters to Bangladesh as Padma and Megan and Hugli flows to Bay of Bengal. Before it reaches the Bay of Bengal, another tributary of Hugli meets is known as Damodar River, which is also known as Sarawapu Bengal. Because, because of it is flooding action. But students, uh, after the formation of Damodar Valley Corporation, river Damodar is control, completely controlled and it is useful for generation of hydroelectricity and irrigation facilities. Okay, students, some important facts of, about the Ganga. Then let's we are going to our main topic that are some tricks about knowing the tributaries of river Ganga. Okay. How to recognize a left bank tributary and a right bank tributary? Always take example of yourself. Always think that the river originated from your head and flows through your body towards your toe. So that the tributaries which are coming from the left side, they are known as left bank tributary and those tributaries are coming from the right side, these are known as right bank tributary. For example, if, if we consider about the Ganga river, suppose uh, this is my head where the Gangotri glacier there. In the, if I put my head on the Gangotri glacier and my toe towards the Bangladesh, then I will be like this. Okay, then what happens? Those tributaries which are coming from the north, that is from the Himalayan part you know, of the Ganga, they are left bank tributaries and those are coming from the south, uh, from this the peninsula plateau, they are known as what? Right bank tributaries. Simple fact. Always you compare like this and um, recognize which is left bank tributary and which is right bank tributary. I hope all of you are understand how to recognize. Then, see, can you answer? Uh, this is the Gomti, Ghagra, Gandak, Koshi, everything. These tributaries are coming from the Himalaya region, so these are becoming the left bank tributary of Ganga. And uh, tributaries like Jamuna and Son, okay, they are coming from the right side. If you, if you are um, a like like this, okay, so these are. Jamuna and Son become the right bank tributary and these tributaries are become the left bank tributaries that is Ramganga, 
रामगंगा गोमती घाघरा गंडक कोशी एंड महानंदा ओके दिस इज रिवर महानंदा दिस रिवर आर बिकमिंग द लेफ्ट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंगा फॉर रिमेम्बरिंग दिस लेफ्ट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज आई हैव फॉर्मुलेटेड द ट्रिक फॉर यू द इंपोर्टेंट लेफ्ट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ गंगा आर रामगंगा गोमती घाघरा गंडक कोशी एंड महानंदा व्हाट इज द ट्रिक दिस ट्रिक इज राम जाने गोमती का घाघरा गला खसी महानदी रे फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्टूडेंट्स सपोज यू दिस यू कैन रिमेम्बर दिस लाइक स्टोरी वन टाइम राम एंड गोमती दे आर मूव अलंग द बीच ऑफ महानदी हुएर द गोमती यूज टू लॉस इज घाघरा फॉर बाय दिस यू कैन रिमेम्बर राम जाने गोमती का घाघरा गला खसी महानदी रे सो हाउ यू विल रिसेम दिस राम जाने राम गंगा गोमती का गोमती घाघरा घाघरा गंडक रिलेवेंस टू गला गला रिलेवेंस टू गंडक एंड खसी दिस रिलेवेंस टू कोशी महानदी रे रिलेवेंस टू महानंदा सो यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला सिंपल ए ट्रिक राम जाने गोमती का घाघरा गला खसी महानदी रे टू यूज दिस लेफ्ट बैंक ट्रिब्यूटरीज आर अरेंज फ्रॉम द वेस्ट टू ईस्ट इन दिस मैनर ओके आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर रिमोवर बी इट If we then say uh, the important trib uh, tributary Koshi, Koshi is known as for of Bihar, which is this question is frequently asked in many of exams. Okay, so you remember why Koshi is known as for of river because Koshi river is a flood pool river as it uh, descends from the Himalaya and uh, causes flood in Bihar region. Yeah. Also due to frequent change of course, this river is flow suppose in this course today day. After the night, if the flood is on the uh, up, upper part of the river, then this course will change in this manner, so that this is the agricultural field and the sub village is, is there, then they are flooded. So this is known as Sarov sort of Bihar. Okay. Uh, the important right bank tributary, among the important right bank tributary, I will find the Jamuna is the largest right bank tributary, which flows for 1380 kilometer. Okay. Uh, which is originated from. Jamnotri glacier glacier Jamnotri glacier in Uttarakhand also okay. it runs parallel to Ganga for 800 km Jamuna river uh, after uh, descending from the Jamnotri glacier it moves parallel with the Ganga river if Ganga river is like this then Jamuna river is like this okay then for 800 km okay then they meet at Alabar which is known as Prayagraj which is known as Prayagraj Prayagraj Okay, this question is also asked in the question Prayagraj, where Ganga and Jamuna meets. This place is known as Prayagraj at the Allahabad, which this Allahabad district's name also changed now as Prayagraj after Joginath government hmm, coming to in the course. Okay, then important tributaries of Jamuna. This year also can be asked in the question important tributaries of Jamuna are Chambal, Chint, Betwa, and Ken and Tons. Hear me, the Stone River. Okay, the Stone River is coming fast. Okay, in the Himachal Pradesh itself, you know, in, in, in this this place, Stone River will come. Then Chambal River from the south. Okay, Chambal River from the Chambal Basin. Then Betwa, then Sind, Betwa and Ken are coming as the tributaries of Jamuna. Okay, then Son is another right bank tributary of Ganga from south. This is the only tributary of Ganga which flows from the south. It's Son. This question also. repeatedly asked in the questions in the exams okay students these are all about the tributaries and their important tricks for your exam preparation thank you for being i will request all of um, the all viewers to subscribe our bani youtube channel and share with your friends as much as possible so that they also get benefited i uh, be safe and uh, always uh, wear mask thank you very much for being with me